So we got to cover this. Uh, I already told Adam I'm doing this. But, oh, I don't uh, know about this. This uh, is news to me. I didn't consent. You don't have to fucking consent. Let me it. know. So basically... Uh, uh, is it about rape again? No. So uh, we're all we're all aware of the character, uh, or not character, the guy who's come on the show who died tragically, <laughs> slipping on a banana peel. Who, okay. Who uh, we stopped mentioning and like you know, out of reverence for the dead. Yeah. Right. Because he passed away. So there's this other guy, uh, <laughs> Seth Cockfield, who was offended by the character, uh. and that's why uh, you know I mean it's not why, but it was sort of a coincidence that. Seth had a meltdown about it, and then uh, Seth uh -huh. Cockfield died, and we stopped um, allowing Seth Dickfield to bully Seth Cockfield <laughs> via the magic of theater. Right, right, right. Uh, oh, so I didn't get it. Seth. Oh, so Dickfield was bullying Cockfield. Yeah, it wasn't me. I see. <laughs> okay. It was the guy. It was the human, the real human being, Seth now, Dickfield. You know, my favorite dead. movie of all time is Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And mm -hmm. yeah. Roger Rabbit is chained to Eddie Valiant. They're handcuffed together for about mm -hmm. an hour. Yeah. And then they're in that back room in the bar, and uh, Eddie finally Eddie finds a hacksaw, and he starts hacking through the handcuffs. And while he's doing that, Roger Rabbit just slips out of the handcuffs, and he, like, starts watching him. Oh, and yeah. And Eddie says, you mean to tell me you could have taken those off at any time? And he goes, no, only when it was funny. <laughs> and I sort of live by that code. <laughs> That oh, anything man. can be justified if it's funny. <laughs> and so uh, I'm not responsible for hurting Seth's feelings. And he's a bad guy. But uh, <laughs> What do you mean? I thought you said you had nothing against him. I don't have anything against him. I mean, I'm just saying objectively he's a bad guy. <laughs> uh, God, that's even better. Yeah. He's claiming it's objective. <laughs> <laughs> But there's like there's like a scientific like, unit of facts. measurement. Yeah. It's not that he's petty and yeah. anyone who annoys him a little bit, he goes way too hard at them. Who me? Yeah. Who who else have I gone way too hard at? Anyone that annoys you on the internet. I, I feel like go, on the internet go. you like to just No, there's people I like make fun of. I think Seth's like a great character and he just doesn't realize that. Anyhow. Is. The point is, I wouldn't bring him up, but sure. uh Seth rejoined Facebook to uh complain about me. Oh really? And clear the air. And uh, I think, you know, it's... No, hold on. This is like... It's, Adam's shaking his head in protest. He he posted this because he... And I, I agree with him. Yeah. You know, I like I have been mean to him. So I think it's like only fair... Okay, okay, okay. ...that I like let people whose only exposure to Seth uh, hear what this Seth has to say... In, in his own, character. ...in his own defense. Okay. Um, and yeah. so Seth posted this. Yeah, don't do... You're, you're definitely not going to do the voice. What do you mean? Well, I, it's in Seth's words. Why would I not? <laughs> okay. Do the voice. Okay. <laughs> Seth wrote, uh, "Hi, I'm not back. I just wanted to share this and then bounce back into the ether sometime before Monday." This tweet is an old tweet of mine, which I tweeted in a rage one day in the spring of 2015, right around noon, most probably after reading about yet another atrocity portrayed by some white cop or politician or rapist. Adam, you look displeased. I've, I've, if it's really going to bother you that much, I, I'll tell you, there's seven more paragraphs. <laughs> Just continue. And we're only Smart. halfway through the first We already one. started. There's no, yeah, there's there's no going back. Uh, well, there's yeah. If you don't want to be a part of this, I guess if you're such good friends with Seth, <laughs> not that you don't want Seth. you don't want uh, me to just uh, let so Seth speak for himself here. This is know. a recording you're playing, right? Of yeah, Seth yeah, reading yeah. his I, post. Yeah, play the recording. He went live on Facebook Live. Uh, finish the video. I don't know. Well, if 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 you're gonna have a problem, continue. No, it's you already said. Yeah, I guess. I guess I'm just a big bully. <laughs> <laughs> I guess everybody just thinks I'm just a fucking asshole <laughs> because I'm trying to let Seth defend himself to the, to the come town. You know what? Fans. You're right. Let let Seth finish. You're right. You're right. We're being the bullies. We're trying to stifle Seth's voice. Let him. Let's hear what he had to say. <laughs> Anyhow, he says this is a this is a tweet he tweeted in a rage after an atrocity uh, portrayed by. A white by by white cop or politician or rapist. Right. Um, 
The tweet got no likes or retweets at the time, which was fine. I didn't expect it to. I just wanted to get it off my chest. If that makes you feel uncomfortable, I get that, and I'm happy to discuss it. And then he's included the tweet, which uh, was What's the terrible. Tweet? Well, the tweet is, here's Seth, and he says, White people will one day go extinct, and I cannot wait. New power structure, please. <laughs> He wants himself to go yeah, yeah. extinct. Well, anyhow. So, that's the tweet he included. And then he what says, do you mean you can't wait? You are white. Yeah. Well, hold on. He explains it further. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. I'm, sorry, he I'm says, sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, he says, Earlier this summer, a certain comedian popular on Twitter, whom I will refer to as X, X. which uh, is that's me. That's cool. Nicholas X. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's cool. I love it. That's, that's a awesome. cool nickname. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Seth. Um, <laughs> Just that's why you don't understand short of Vin Diesel. X is a tight nickname yeah, for it. It's yeah, X. nowhere near as good as Seth Dickfield, though. No, Dickfield's great. If he if he was like, earlier this summer, a certain comedian popular on Twitter, who I'm going to refer to as Nick Dickface, <laughs> I would have laughed. That would have really been, good. Yeah. That would have been funny. But he that, was a, that was a blown opportunity. He yeah. gave you instead a really cool punk rock name. Yeah. Dick Cuntlin. As X. Well, punk rock names are all like, uh, like uh, your first name is literally one David letter. Murder, like Jonathan Trash, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like yeah, garbage, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike, Johnny Rotten, Mike <laughs> Snot, fucking pussy. <laughs> yeah. I'm in a hardcore Infected band. I'm Johnny Snot ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Johnny. I'm Johnny Pus Taint. Yeah. Um. So okay. So earlier this Your summer, the first name is literally one letter away from Dick. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Like, <laughs> he kept calling me Dick Molly. That would have been funny. Dick Molly, yeah. Been, well, it would have been funnier if he called me, like, Nick Dickface or Nick <laughs> Dick Fag. You know, like, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Just, <laughs> he just, like, you know, didn't put any effort into it. Like, well, I didn't with the cockfield Nick thing. Mull Dick would have been yeah, great. Yeah, that would have been funny. But he went with X. So, sorry, now I'm uh, now an X-Man. X. Now I'm a fucking mutant <laughs> that can read X. people's minds. <laughs> this is tight. Uh, the only white guy that looks good, bald, and handicapped. That's true. That's a good combo. Um, okay. Uh, earlier this summer, there. a certain comedian popular on Twitter, who I'm referred to as X, someone whom I'm not... I don't... Is that... That's not... Whom is possessive, right? No, it's it's, it's the objective. Yeah. Not the subject. Someone... In sense. So, but this isn't correct usage. Someone whom I'm not ap amicable with in the least... I don't think it's right. Someone who, yeah. I don't know, someone who. Yeah, because you are the subject of the sentence. Yeah, I don't yeah, fucking yeah. know, dude. I'm dumb also. Thought it'd be funny to create a character based on me for his podcast. This was completely unprovoked. The character is a weak, submissive, social justice warrior type <laughs> who overuses words like woke and is generally obsessed with political correctness. The character's name is Seth Dickfield. Which, uh, side note, again... Seth is a real... Seth Dickfield yeah. is a real person. It's pretty insensitive, <laughs> all this guy who him. died. Yeah, we've all seen him. We've all looked at him. Actually, uh -huh. I don't know. Have I been the... And yeah, honestly, so. Seth, for you to you say that Seth Dickfield isn't yeah. real, uh, considering he died at Auschwitz, in a way that kind of makes you a Holocaust denier. <laughs> <laughs> so, Seth Cockfield, Holocaust denier. Jeez. All right, uh, getting back to the, uh, the, the note. Uh, seriously, he's not even trying to hide the fact... Um, He's not even trying to hide the fact that the character is based on me. It's fucking weird, to say the least. I haven't talked to this dude in over a year. Uh, this is the best part of the whole thing. I'm listening. Last time I talked to him, he was at an open mic where he got upset with me because I wouldn't budge on my I don't like the N-word and don't think white people should ever say it stance. <laughs> he got mad because he thought his logic to be, was sound and I didn't To care. be fair, that is a hilarious... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that, well, is that the didn't best. happen. Right, right. That, that didn't right. fucking the happen. Best. I wouldn't argue with Seth about that's so good. That yeah. is the best. That he's like, last time I sorry, saw this guy, I don't what like a, the yeah. N word. Oh, he was man. stomping his feet and demanding to use the N word in the open mic. And <laughs> Let me say it. Yeah. Let me yeah. say it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say it, Seth. <laughs> yeah. I'm anti rape no. and anti N word, and I'm never changing that. Dude, yeah. the idea of just. Wanting to say the the fa a person that would argue at length that they should say it but wouldn't say yeah, yeah. it to be that stupid right yeah. also like oh my that God. I'm arguing with Seth and, and that that, that did like, not come happen. on Seth of course not it did not he <laughs> no, made it it up. absolutely didn't happen <laughs> the last argument I got in <laughs> he, he was stopping you from saying the n word. <laughs> I bravely stopped. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy, what a fucking so hero. Oh what a hero. He goes, well, X wanted to show Seth his followers rules. 
that this character was based on a real person, so he scoured my actual Twitter feed for anything that might resemble uh, his Seth Dickfield character, and he found one, the one I've uploaded here. He tweeted it, and his followers went apeshit. Um, I tweeted it without context. I just retweeted you saying a thing, which... You knew what you were doing. I knew what I was doing. (laughs) You knew that it was very funny what he said. I knew it was fucking funny. I knew it was like, people are going to laugh at him for being this much of a fucking idiot. But I didn't need to be like, you know, hey, bully this guy, or hear this, why this is dumb. It stays at face value. It's a fucking dumb thing to write. So, the tweet immediately started making the rounds with the most depressing parts of Twitter. (laughs) Oh, God. Uh, I guess the least depressing part of Twitter is uh, tweeting at uh, Talib Kweli all day long. (laughs) If I, yeah. <laughs> Don't let them get you, Talib. <laughs> That's the least He's also depressing part. Ve- Talib very, uh, very for women's rights. Yeah, yeah. he really wants women to have yeah. birth control. Um, uh, the worst people in the world <laughs> relish that X's character was based on someone so real and so liberal, and so they made it their business to keep a stream of daily hatred popping up in my notifications. It has been shared more times than I can count. <laughs> It's like, well, that's the thing about Twitter, Seth. It tells you exactly how many yeah. times something's been shared. Seth can count to yeah. 13. <laughs> it's been shared more times than I'm capable of reading a number off a screen. <laughs> so, basically, I'm semi-famous in the Breitbart world for believing that white supremacy is real should be dismantled no. and meaning it. <laughs> yeah, that's not what you said, it's Seth. not at all. You said white people should go extinct. <laughs> and then the response from the majority of the people who responded to that tweet was like, doesn't this guy know he's white? Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why it's yeah, funny. That's, that's the funniest thing. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's why it's funny. That's the, it's yeah, a absolutely. white person saying white people yeah, should yeah, go yeah. extinct. No, but he can't like understand the fact that, like, yeah, p- people agree with you there's racism. Yeah. There's plenty of racism. You're a fucking laughing stuff. Stock. Yeah, I don't want to die. <laughs> That's my biggest yeah. problem. I would go extinct <laughs> under that. This line's good. Because of my tweet, I must be a cuckold or gay or both. <laughs> <laughs> You're a gay cuck. You brought the accent Someone's back. Someone's fucking <laughs> your husband. <laughs> yeah. No matter what I am, they really want me to kill myself. <laughs> oh. Jesus you know, he, and the, Here's the thing. is like they are telling him to kill himself, but it's in the context of him saying white people should go extinct. Yeah, and the speed are, it up. Yeah, people are like, can we start with you? Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Uh, Although I'm sure horrific parts of the internet did get a hold of that. I don't know. It's, did Gavin, like Gavin, Gavin McInnes? Gavin McInnes yeah. retweeted it. And one, that's of the, like, one of the worst. Yeah, so he spread yeah. it. So He's like, now it's heads. the only tweet of mine being passed around exclusively by angry white supremacists. So, and like, I love that through all of this, He's sort of kind of angry that he didn't go viral under his own terms. Yeah. Like, what he really wanted to go viral for is, like, people... Being a, lo- being oh, a woke wow, hero. This white guy that wants to die. A good what point. a fucking hero. <laughs> That's how he thought it would be. Um, you showed him. Exclusively by angry white supremacists. I refuse to refer to them as alt-right, as I see the entire right-wing world as one big, happy, exclusive family with some uncles and cousins and a little more vocal and honest than the others. And also, by the way, Seth is an admitted former white supremacist. I don't know if yeah, you, yeah, you know, I remember. Yeah, he, I read that post. Yeah, he had a post on Facebook like a year and a half ago that was like, Listen up, gang. I used to be a white supremacist. I read a bunch of racist literature. And my friend <laughs> what? Got, yeah, he was a Nazi. Seth was like an actual Nazi at one point. Shut, shut the fuck but up. The no, point of it was to say that like you can change <laughs> yeah. and you can get woke. You can change. Yeah, yeah. That That's was the like thing, the point of like, the post. Yeah, Seth, you know, a lot of us didn't have to go through that process. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? No, I mean, that's crazy, though. Yeah. Was that real or was he, like, doing it up? For I mean, the... I think no, that is real. <clears throat> I th- you don't think it's real? I know, I think it's real. Because Seth was also, in, like, 2007, like, a total libertarian. libertarian yeah. And, like, uh. fuck, fuck you. If you, don't, if you can't make what switched him is the idea that he should get health care for free. It was all about, initially, him getting shit for free. You know, about how he deserves things for free. And that's what brought him over into yeah. being a, <laughs> a progressive. Um, now, and then also he has to be cool. Like, he can't, like, yeah. not be interpreted as being cool. And Barack Obama was very cool to him. So he had to like Barack Young Obama. Young Barack Obama. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm all for in. The worst part about this is that I can't even tweet anymore. I didn't really tweet that much beforehand. But now, anytime I log in, it's 50 more notifications from the past week. Pure hatred. Not to mention, X is still to this day using the character and retweeting shit with my actual face on it. Which, I wasn't. I haven't fucking mentioned 
like done anything with that Dickfield shit since he had that fucking meltdown because yeah. I felt bad. Right. Like I have numerous times in the past ten years that I've known Seth, like <laughs> feel felt bad when he says something moronic and shitty, <laughs> like specifically to elevate himself over people who hold the opinions that he had six months ago. Yeah, that's why it's yeah. so subject to ridicule. Yeah, because he's and, doing it as an elitist. Right, he's he's a fucking elitist prick, and I'll like make fun of him for you know framing something in the context of here's me being better than somebody. And suddenly, as soon as, like, he gets called out on that behavior, he's like, I'm a victim. Everyone's hurting me. This guy is such an <laughs> asshole. It's completely unprovoked. And it's like, oh, was it provoked when you transcribed uh, two paragraphs of that guy's personal conversation in that coffee shop, you know, uh, <laughs> to show everyone how much you love the feminist But he didn't know that guy's actual name. I mean, yeah. Yeah, sure. I, I understand what I'm doing. We truly are bullying him. What, uh, yeah, I am bullying him. <laughs> yeah, there's this no way around that. It's absolutely bullying. Yes. But it's also so like, you know, I'm not wrong. <laughs> that is the thing. If you are right, it doesn't matter what the fuck it is. Yeah. Like, especially, you do not give a shit whatsoever. And that's why we go back to the good words of Roger Rabbit. Only if it's funny. Only if it's funny. Yeah. Which it is funny. And then he, he Roger closes Rabbit off. broke Nick's brain. Yeah. He closes by saying, in other news, I'm back in school. I'm a college freshman. I love it. Other than that, all that Twitter shit, I can safely say, in general, life is good. So things are looking up for Seth. And I'm happy. I'm glad for him that he's in school. Because, I mean, honestly, <laughs> 15 years of stand-up comedy and you're still bombing at open this mics. Is Christ, Nick. See, what? this is the Mullen special right here. <laughs> you did have After to, just shitting on him for something that you like semi- seasoning on. That you semi had a point, right? Still mean, but you had a good... Then you just took the gratuitous <laughs> kick him while he's down <laughs> fucking thing. Yeah, congrats <laughs> on college, you fucking... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, anyway. he's making his life better. I'm, like, happy for him. Good man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy for him. You can see the expression on Nick's face, everyone. 